How's it going guys? Your driver Frank here, back once again with another video. And for today's video, um, I've obviously covered this in, in various um, videos in the past, but it's just regarding um, whether you should rent or buy your car when joining Uber or driving for Uber. Now, I've expressed my uh, my views on it thoroughly <laughs> on, I think, the, the last two videos, I think, or not the last two videos, but two videos behind, I, um, I did answer a question which um, someone asked about it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer it again for you just for the sake of clarity. Now for me personally, for my own, it, it really depends on your circumstances, but for me personally, I, I prefer to rent. And the reason being is that, you know, if, if, if you're renting and uh, you get into an accident or um, something goes wrong with the car, then you're covered, you know, straight away. You won't be off the road, a replacement car will be given to you and you'll be back on the road within 24 hours, you know, or probably even less. Um, you know, when you rent a car, there's no maintenance to pay. Uh, everything is covered from the licensing of the car, the taxing, um, the, uh, the wear and tear of the car. Uh, it's all included within the actual rent itself. Um, obviously, if, if you get a puncture, then obviously that's down to you. But um, uh, in terms, if, if, if the if the tire goes bald, then obviously that's down to the rental company to sort out. Well, most most rental companies sort that out anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's just for peace of mind, really. To be fair, I mean, you know, if you if you if you're out on the road, um, you know, for 10, 15 hours a day, uh, that's going to put a lot of burden on, on on a car that you own. So ideally you want to be doing it on someone else's car <laughs> and not your own i mean yes i mean in, in in the long term i think you know buying is more practical because at least the, the profits that you earn or any money that you earn off uber goes directly to you and you're not paying it out on rent um if you take your car out on finance of course obviously your your overheads will be a lot lower monthly so you could pay up to three four hundred five hundred pounds a month uh, as opposed to renting where you could be paying up to a grand a month but again depending on what vehicle you take out whether that includes insurance or not you know personally if you if you are going to um uh do renting then uh, ideally take out your own insurance because that way you will build up your no claims bonus but if it's a temporary solution you're looking for and you want to try out um try out uber and see how it goes for you for uh, maybe uh, three to six months perhaps i mean three months is it's, it's not much time to to gauge if whether uh, uber would be suitable for you but six months would be uh, a, a better a better try and yeah by all means you know if you do, uh, do it for six months rent a car which includes insurance that way you know you're not going to pay any um, deposits or any high high costs with regards to uh, because remember in your first year uh, on Uber and or as a private hire driver when you first got your license you're going to be paying more than you would do normally um, on, on your insurance it's not going to be exactly like your your personal car and remember that your no claims bonus on, on your personal car or if you've been driving you've got a no claims bonus it's not counted towards your private hire insurance so um, bear that in mind when you're actually um, when you take out insurance, when you take out insurance, or when you're renting a car on a long-term basis, I mean there are companies out there that will uh, put you on their fleet insurance, and then uh, after a certain period of time, they can transfer that. Um, you, if you if you want to opt out, you can take out. You can leave, obviously um, leave their insurance and take out your own insurance, and then whatever no claims bonus that you've accumulated, whether it be a year or two years with that company, will roll over. But again, it's very rare. This is only company I know who does that is a uh, auto car. Um, they do that for you. But as long as you take out their rent to buy scheme, now rent to buy is a total totally different kettle of fish. So you'll rent the car. Uh, off uh, a specific company. Uh, in my case, it was Auto Car at the time, and um, you keep the car for three years. You pay rent every week on it. You get a full week holiday pay, uh, hol holiday break. Sorry, and um, yeah, I mean, you know, at the end of the three year period, there's no balloon payment. Uh, there's no balloon. You just, you just you, the car is yours basically after three years. So um it's it's um it was expensive but uh, a lot of peace of mind behind it as i said to you rental companies or rent to buy companies then normally they cover the costs on the car if ever you were to get into an accident or if it breaks down or whatever it happens obviously with rent to buy um maintenance is, is down to you um 
uh, but of course, of course, you don't pay for insurance. Or sorry, my screen just decided to um, go on standby mode. You don't pay for um, um, servicing, uh, but you do need to pay. For, uh, under the, did I have to pay for MOT? I can't remember. But I didn't pay for servicing. But um, to get the brakes changed, get the tires changed, I did have to pay for myself. Uh, but there are other companies out there who do rent to buy, which they'll cover all that. So again, it depends on which company you go for, but you've got to do your research. Now, me, I used Autocar uh, during the beginning stages of, of uh, when I started Uber. I um, used Drover. Now, Drover is a great, great uh, temporary solution if you're looking to rent a car out uh, temporarily for, like I said, three to six months. Um, just purely on the basis that everything is covered. Your end it's a low deposit. So, say for example, um, you take out a Toyota Prius for two hundred and fifteen pounds a week, or two hundred, uh, two hundred thirteen, or two, depending on again which or what year it is. If it's the later model, maybe you're looking around. Excuse me, two thirty, two thirty a week. That includes insurance, but again, it includes all the maintenance costs uh, behind that. So, um, so yeah, I mean, Drover, you you can find my uh, my my referral code here on the side, or and or at the bottom, you can just click on the link below, uh, sign up, and uh, we'll both get a fifty pounds uh, bonus basically. So you get fifty pounds off your first rental. Uh, and the bonus thing about um, Drover is not only is that all. All costs are covered. Uh, you only pay for the rent every week, but you also, you know, you, with most companies, you have to pay a large deposit. Whereas with Drover, you can break that deposit down. So, so for example, you take out a Toyota Prius 2018 version for 230 pounds a week, that you'll pay maybe uh, 300 pounds or 400 pounds uh, deposit. But you don't have to pay that in one go. If you haven't got enough money, you can break that down into installments. So, uh, two fifty. Uh, sorry. Uh, so break it down to fifty pounds each each week. So they'll just basically you'll just add it onto your weekly rental. So if you're paying two thirty already for the rental of the car plus a deposit, so it's, it's two eighty a week. But then obviously they'll go for they'll go on for four weeks for a two hundred pound deposit. I think was the lowest one I've seen there. Uh, turn pound deposit, break it down to uh, into four weeks or fifty pounds, and that's paid off. And as soon as basically you return the car, uh, within a week or two, you'll receive your deposit back. And uh, because they're an established company, at least you know you've got that peace of mind knowing that that deposit's coming back. And the same with Auto Car as well. You know they, you know Auto Car and Drover, both companies are very good with regards. They they got a reputation at the end of the day. They're they're um, preferred partners of of Uber, so they're not going to mess about with your deposit. Whereas I know I've seen it on Gumtree, I've seen it on lots of Facebook groups and Facebook pages that I know there are companies out there who are doing rent to buy or rent or hiring from them. Yeah, it may be cheap, but you know you you'll end up giving them a five hundred pound deposit. Will you see that deposit come back if something goes wrong with the car? You never know. So I'd, I would I would go with a reputable company and um, not mess about with the. Uh, uh, the Mickey Mouse ones, because <laughs> at the end of the day, you you need to be out there making money, and um, any downtime that you have, you know, um, it costs you. You know, it's, it's your job at the end of the day. Uh, specifically, uh, more particularly for part timers, you know, it, you know, sometimes renting can be a bit more expensive for for part timers, but at the end of the day, you know, it, it's a temporary solution for you to earn to, uh, uh, that little bit extra money. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's all I wanted. I can cover really on, on that specific topic. I mean, yes, buy if you are looking to do it long term, short term, up to six months, then maybe rent just to try out the market and see if Uber's for you because Uber's not for everyone. If you think, okay, you like driving, you enjoy driving, uh, but working for Uber or, you know, is a different kettle of fish altogether. So, you know, and, you know, all my previous videos will tell you my experience with regards to that which you can check out by all means <laughs> all right guys so well i'm gonna love you and leave you uh it's just a quick video just to cover that specific topic uh thank you very much for watching uh don't forget to like comment share and subscribe this is your driver frank here signing out peace <laughs>